I'm sure you all know the tale of King Arthur. If not, let me tell you. Oh, Merlin, let us tell it. You'll go on for days. Well, I guess that would be all right, but I... It was the day of the big joust. All the knights were gathered in the roped off area with their armor, horses, weapons, and attended by their young squires. Squires are young men who hope one day to become knights themselves. Squires do everything for the knights, including getting them ready for the joust. Remember, Arthur was a squire, Sir Hector. Everyone was gathered for the biggest joust of the year. It's like the World Series of all jousts, the Stanley Cup, <coughs> the Super Bowl, the Olympics of the jousting world. Enough already. Let's have a song. <coughs> It is in front of the 
his door and stabs his own. Then Squire Arthur finds himself as he is racing home to retrieve Sir Hector's sword. What you probably don't recall from this famous legend is that only a few steps away from that stone was another rock. And sticking out of that rock was something even more beautiful and enticing than the former king's sword. And that's what caught Arthur's attention. Hmm, two stones. Each with something interesting protruding from it. We only have time to choose one and get back to the jokes. Hmm. Well, this one is most certainly a sword and seems a logical choice. But this one is much more colorful and seems full of many fantastic possibilities. Hmm. I'm taking this one. This song sound familiar? Well, watch what happens next. My lord, my lord, I brought you the best instrument that I could find. What? Isn't is it colorful? What? What is that? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? Beautiful indeed, but what can it do? It's a strange tube that was sticking out of the stone in the town square. Everyone knows that and remember pulls it out as a rightful heir to the throne. I thought that was a sword. Duh, it works for both. Now, what will be your first decree? You mean anything? Sure, you're the king. Hmm. Well, can I decree that from now on, in this kingdom, there will be no more use for swords or weapons of any sort except for this marvelous, colorful instrument? Why? You can't be serious! I think it's a marvelous idea. And until you men get used to this idea, none of us damsels are going to be friendly to you all. Or wash your clothes. Or cook your meal. Or cheer your jousting. King Arthur says no more swords. And that's the way it's going to be!
Most damsels are backing him up and not being nice to the men until they go along with the king. I think that sounds like a great idea. The problem is, we have just been told that the French are on our way to attack us, and I don't think they're going to be armed with only boomwhackers. It's all my fault. I truly believe we wouldn't need weapons if we always did the right thing and worked for a land filled with harmony. And now, I put my entire kingdom in jeopardy.
the music together, and it is beautiful. My people, from this day forward, let us never forget this sound here in this moment. The moment when men and women put down their swords and shields, picked up a somewhat musical instrument, raised their voices and sang. Sing, boys, sing! for being such a great audience. Let's have a big hand for King Arthur and Merlin. And the minstrels. And they're keeping us all safe, the mighty medieval men. And the lovely damsels. The French soldiers and French ladies. And who can forget the jesters. Quite musical. Yeah. 